Daniel has a keen sense of cynicism. So do you think the uh, electrics will be better? No. I have a very bad guys. All I can say is thank God Daniel is here to help me with this. There's no way I could uh, figure this, this, all this stuff out. And boy, what a cleanup job he's doing and what an incredible job he is doing to put all this back together. And it's Sunday, day of rest, and uh, Daniel's here working his ass off with me. Thank goodness. Well, this uh, electrical challenge is just as challenging as any nautical challenge. Uh, I repeat myself when I say that I could have never have done it without somebody like Daniel. And Daniel is just somebody that's really pretty special to uh, get in there and fix things. And he really knows his shit. He's been doing it for, for so many years. And those Jano boats. So what we did is that we moved the uh, electrical system all around and uh, put it in places that were seemingly safer and more practical. For example, we moved a charger from the engine compartment to one of the um, storage areas under the uh, guest cabin here, uh, all away from water and from the engine uh, in a place where it's going to be safe and, and dry. I've also moved the uh, main switches for the 220 to the same uh, area and moved all the main circuit um, switches to the cabin also. Instead of being right under the engine, it was such a mess there. And it was a bit too close to, to water, to getting wet. So in here, it's all gonna be nice and dry and much safer and much pra more practical to get at. Daniel's a dude, he really knows his shit. You know, it's pretty awesome. Quiet guy, doesn't like to talk to the camera much, it seems. But talks to himself a lot as he's thinking throughout. Each time I think he's talking to me. But he's actually thinking out loud constantly, step by step by step by step, about what he has to do, which makes sense. Donc ça veut dire qu'on a deux intérieurs. Donc on va faire deux bleus qui vont passer là. Tout ça, c'est cabinet. Et après je vais partir avec deux bleus et deux marrons. Un, deux, trois. 4, 5, donc c'est le troisième et le cinquième. Hop. Donc, est-ce qu'il était branché, je sais pas, mais ça alimente le troisième et le cinquième. Ouais. Some of the shit made no sense on the um, circuit board. Et logiquement, tu étais obligé d'allumer l'interrupteur, le, le deuxième du bas, pour que ça marche. Feu de nave bas. Pour que les feux de nave marchent en haut, tu étais obligé de mettre cet interrupteur. There was no turning back from this electrical shitstorm. I had to ride this out determined. My assignments were simple. Drill holes for cinch straps. Get rid of old copper tubes. Another crap. And another thing I discovered is a, a valve that drains my refrigerator and uh, I opened the valve and um, blew on the tube and it sounded like you know bubbles and then I decided to, to try to suck on it siphon it and I got a mouth full of this it was totally clogged and ended up in my mouth I had to disinfect myself with vodka <laughs> that's been sitting there for years rotting and smelling up mm. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, this stuff stinks. Oh. So this is the new plan for the navigational area. So we will have the uh, plotter here, radar and VHF here, uh, area to put a computer and a logbook down here. The electrical um, component here and then a little area to put all the keys and junk a little shelf for, you know all sorts of stuff there and then uh, there's gonna be a couple of plugs here for uh, uh, 12 volt to, to plug in um, uh, lighter stuff you know 12 volt stuff like the phone and recharge uh, other things this whole area has been cleared out it's nice there used to be the radar here so we've gotten rid of that I'm gonna have some 
you know room for this and it's gonna really be a nice area to to come and navigate so i'll be able to like zoom in and zoom out whatever because it's gonna be a tactile touchscreen this is just this is just terrible it has to go so i'm gonna rip out some more tubing in the water system to simplify everything and to put in the uh, shower pump in here so I we can take showers in here and uh, draw out the water to use water right out of the bottom uh, little pit here and then I've got another little project to take apart some cabling in the compass uh, tower console because uh, apparently there's a light on, on the compass and uh, it's not working so I didn't even know it light existed because it has never worked and Daniel told me to take apart the compass and then we saw some errand wires practically getting caught and tangled in the steering chain which is not a good thing to have so we're gonna try to replace those wires take it apart and get the compass lit up at night and make sure that there's no you know electrical wiring tangled up in the in the inner workings of the um, steering system. Old fashioned technology and a water waster. We're gonna get one that mixes the hot and cold in one knob rather than these two knobs. I'm really in the depth of Gotta Fun. We went way down deep in the back area where the um, batteries are. We've removed the batteries. We're gonna add a gel battery to the two existing 180 amp uh, batteries that aren't gel. Um, uh, it's gonna help sustain a longer charge, the gel, although it's more expensive, but uh, we get a good deal on it. We've moved the charger from the engine compartment to one of the compartments under the, one of the cabins. We've also got a new water uh, system, pumps and everything that's gonna be in the other guest cabin. Uh, all the tubes were re doing so it's a huge job that's why we get into the very depth of the of the uh, of the boat to get all new tubing all new conduits uh, they're nice and clean and function without any leaks uh, so that there's constant pressure it's a huge job so far we've done all the electrics almost we've got a brand new circuit board that we just got Daniel's looking forward to putting that back together as well as putting the 220 together right now uh, this is how I've been living as well as editing uh, videos right here on this desk and right here in the evening I clean up as best as I can and then um, then I edit to, to, to deliver my uh, my show because uh, I've got to do it this is this is important you know and you've got to see what the hell I'm, I'm up to I, I, um, I sail I travel and do things but we also got to fix things we got to put to make them more secure more safe and, and easier to handle especially as a solo person because I tend to to go off solo as much as possible and it's got to be livable that's really important too so there's still a shitload more to do excuse the language but this is a lot of work on va pas couler si pour l'instant il y a du gasoil qui sort ah il y a du gasoil qui sort <laughs> we've got Daniel making holes in the in the bottom of the boat it's a little scary a little frightening and uh, Odell, who's uh, cleaning the boat. Bois, comme un mort de faim. Meanwhile, I installed some uh, new faucets. And Galapagos uh, is getting a real uh, makeover. Here's a new shower faucet I installed. According to Daniel, this stuff is going to make me hallucinate the smell of it in the boat. It's a dream for the whole evening. <laughs> you can see fabulous women this evening. Super glue, super toxic super glue. Is this one of your favorite products, Daniel? No, c'est la plus grande des misères qu'il existe au monde. He said. One of the biggest miseries that exists in the world. 
It smells so bad. If you could only be here. If you can, you can, you can sniff this evening. You can sniff it and get pretty, pretty high, pretty fucked up. <laughs> but it glues well and pretty, pretty solid. Let me tell you, I tried to chop some off to make room for these new boards and it was like rock. So every night we've got a big mess and um, I do my best to make some sense of it and put it away a little bit so that when Daniel comes back the next day he uh, you know finds stuff and it's not so so messy so it's a clean kind of working place and at the same time I clean up and straighten out for myself because I have to live here and sleep here and uh, edit videos and answer all the YouTube comments and stuff like that send emails and prepare this job I have next week and then and yet sleep and, uh, and and cook and eat something so it's, it's a bit of a challenge but you know I guess it's all part of the uh, winded voyage it's all part of you know learning how to sail sailing is also about knowing your boat it's also about having to fix your boat in case of an emergency in the middle of the ocean so you want to know everything you can possibly know about your boat and there's no better way to know about your boat but fixing it from top to bottom or building it like uh, Doug Jackson uh, from uh, SV Seeker. I'm not building a boat but I'm kind of refitting a lot of the things the electricals the water and stuff like that which is going to be good if there's ever a problem that I know um, more or less what's going on and where everything is. Daniel's done an amazing job to make this look as good in the back of everything as it will in the front. So it'd be almost cool to put this in like a plexiglass so you can see everything, you know, because it's quite a work of art in my opinion. Morning, Daniel. Morning. How are you? Good day for you today. <laughs> it's a wonderful day today, no? Uh, sure, for working outside. <laughs> it's been raining for the past two days uh, incessantly, like a tropical storm or something. It, wind was blowing, and uh, it just rained and rained and rained. And uh, this is what happened just last night. That's how much rained. Uh, came down and but we still maintain to work inside and this is my first time kind of out uh, Since the past couple days, it's about time to take a shower and uh, I don't know if I'll shave and stuff, but Anyways, I've just been working so it's not like uh, I'm going out to a Gala event or anything got rid of the old uh, bathroom facilities the uh, second um, head there to uh, add some shelving and some storage which I think will be much necessary and uh, even an option for a freezer eventually but uh, I don't think I can afford that at the moment but right now mainly the storage and uh, the electrics and the, and the water pumps are you know all set up now I just need to put in the tubing I was well guided Daniel's marine experience is 30 years deep a vast fleet of boats he regularly gets messages from happy customers cruising somewhere out there. How's it going, Daniel? Va bien, tout va bien. C'est magnifique, même. Magnifique, magnifique temps. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go back to Switzerland to do a job, a paying gig, which is not so unfortunate because uh, it's going to help me pay for some of these. Uh, renovation so that Daniel and I and perhaps Beeks we'll see we want to either go to Greece or perhaps uh, Cape Verde because uh, the weather is any indication what it's going to be like in Greece it may be cold and we don't want to deal with the cold we want to be warm mm -hmm. 